Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome to another Sunday series. Today's video we are making salt dough ornaments. I have them here on my plate. They're not decorated. Hubby and I will decorate them for you later on, but we have a little snowman, a stocking, a Christmas tree, and also a little gingerbread guy. All right, so what you need to get started in a bowl, you want to put in here one cup of regular table salt and two cups of flour. To that, you're going to add in one cup of water. But you, know, you want to add the water in slowly. I'm first going to mix up the flour and salt together. And we're going to add in our water. Just do a little bit at a time. You really can't mess this up. If it's too dry, add more water. Too liquidy, add more flour. See my bowl? Hubby got these at Walmart. They're the um, Pioneer Woman. There was a set of three for my birthday. I absolutely love her stuff. I do plan on doing my whole kitchen in the Pioneer Woman. All right, so I'm just getting that incorporated. And you're gonna to want to add your water a little bit at a time. You're gonna to want to come in here with your hands as well. So my hands are already washed and clean. Great project to have the little ones help you with. You can also separate the dough, add food coloring to it, or what we're going to be doing is just painting them with regular craft paint. All right, I'm going to take my rings off, put them up here, roll the sleeves up and get in here. You can just give it a good mix. It's a little dry, so I'm going to come in here and add a little more water. Come back in with my spatula first to kind of get it mixed in. see how we are here so you can see where we're at you want it to be to be you know you want it to hold together but not horribly sticky either I'm just rolling it around picking up all the extra flour we have at the bottom you guys probably can't see I think we're good I think we're getting there I might do just a tad bit more water with some flour on the bottom I can't get. There we go, now it's better. All right, so you can see I'm just forming a dough. Now what I'm gonna do is take some flour on our surface here. Bring our dough out. And now we're just gonna knead it so it's not so wet. All right, I think we're good. Now what I'm gonna do again is take some more flour on the thing here and also on my rolling pin. And we're gonna roll this out. Just turn it as you go so it's not going to stick. Now, I want to say I did mine about a quarter inch or so thick. You don't want to go too thick, otherwise you're going to take a really long time to dry. I do have my oven preheating at 170. That's the lowest my oven will go. And we're going to put them in there for, I'm going to guess maybe two hours or so. And I do flip them halfway through. just so they're fully dried out. Even if they're partially dried to where they're hard, you can still paint them and decorate them and hang them on the tree. Just by hanging them on the tree, they'll air dry as well. Okay, so I think we're about a quarter inch or so thick. I'm gonna take a few of these cookie cutters. I got them from the dollar store. And just go ahead and make some shapes. There's also a Santa Claus in that one. I just want to keep it with a simple four shapes here. You can also just do a round cookie cutter and make it just be an ornament that way. And I'm not going to decorate all of these. 
So, you know, Hobby and I are going to do them ones with you guys. But these ones, I'm going to mail to JC, along with like a little paint set so he can do them for his mom. Okay, I think we're about good. All right, so now at this point, what you want to do, pick up all the extra dough. You can also re-roll this out to make more. I'm not going to do that, though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I'm able to, if Hubby can capture Dine and Hardy's paw print. So I'm going to take this and set it aside. All right. Now, before you put them in the oven, you want to take a straw and poke a hole in them. This way you can add string or ribbon to them. Make sure you empty out the straw as you go. You don't want to go too close to the edges. These make such good keepsakes for the little ones to keep. You know, you can give them to them when they're older. They can hang on their tree. So when I did my Christmas tree that you guys seen, I have a clay pot ornament I made in kindergarten. And I'm now 46. It was a long time ago. And my mom's tree, she has an angel that I made when I was probably in preschool. All right, I think we got them all. Let's do the stocking over here. All right, now we're gonna put them on the baking sheet. I do have mine lined with parchment. Just be careful when you pick them up. You can also be kind of funny and like maybe use a scallopy cookie cutter and kind of, you know, bite the leg off the gingerbread guy. Like I said, they're gonna bake for about two hours on the lowest setting of your oven, flipping them halfway through. And then we're going to paint them. There we go. Get that guy. And that one. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, salt dough ornaments. We're going to put them in the oven, like I said, for 170. About two hours or so, flipping them halfway through. Let them dry completely, and we'll have you get some later on. We'll go ahead and decorate these guys so you can see them. Any questions, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.